Hi there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. It's such a privilege to be able to pray for you every single day of this year. I am grateful for you, and thank you so much for taking the time to listen uh, to Scripture and to prayer, both really important things in the Christian walk. If we want to talk about discipleship, certainly it involves both of those things. Um, Hey, if you're stuck in your heart or in your mind and you feel like there's just something that needs to be unstuck, you might consider faithful counseling. Um, It's something I've been doing over the past couple months. It's been a real blessing to me. It's online, it's affordable, and if you go to getfaithful.com slash pray every day, you'll get 10% off your first month. Um, I hope that that uh, opens up some doors for you and helps you to understand even more that you are loved by the Lord. Today we are in Matthew 24, verses 15 through 28 in the modern English version of the Bible. This is what it says. We're talking about the end times here. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. Let him who is in the field not return to take his clothes. Woe to those who are with child and to those who nurse in those days. Pray that your escape will not be in the winter or on the Sabbath. For then will be great tribulation, such has not happened since the beginning of the world until now, nor ever shall be. Unless those days were shortened, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Listen, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, Look, he is in the desert, do not go there. Or look, he is in the private chambers, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the carcass is, there there the eagles will be gathered together. Mind if I pray for you? Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you hold the past, the present, and the future and all time in your hand. Thank you that there will be a moment when we will no longer be in the confines and bounds of time and sin. And we're so thankful for that. Um, But right now, Lord, we're in the confines of, we're definitely in the confines of time and definitely in the confines of sin. So I pray that you give us a holy perspective. Lord, some of us just need to be lifted above, above our circumstances and see from a thousand foot level what is really going on. And Lord, you can do that through scripture. You can show us just how um, kingdoms have risen and fallen throughout the ages. And that yet the one thing that's true is that you are sovereign over all. Help us to understand that you are our benevolent King. You are our benevolent Lord. You are the Prince of Peace. And because we have been elected, we have been chosen by you. We have been given the Holy Spirit who will give us the discernment we need in these end times. Lord, as I look back over history, I see many people who have already claimed to be the Christ. There have been lots of cult leaders. There's been lots of deception going on. And Lord, um, those cult leaders have been found out. Um, And Lord, we do pray for those who are in existence today, who are leading other people astray. Lord, would you expose them for who they are? Lord, I also pray that you would fit us for heaven. You would fit us for tribulation. You would train us to be strong in difficult circumstances. Um, We are already in difficult circumstances right now, and we need your strength. And we ask wholeheartedly with everything inside of us that you would show us how to do this better, how to live life better, how to trust you more, how to love others better, how to... um, live with joy and belief and faith instead of fear and panic and worry. And Lord, just to be honest, I I can tend to go to the other. I can tend toward panic and fear and worry. And so, Lord, would you help me and would you help us to become better endurers of pain, better endurers of what we face, and with joy, Lord, with that heavenly, eternal perspective. We trust you for that. Lord, we need you in these times. 
we trust you and we choose to follow you whatever may happen today. And Lord, I do pray that you would show us today that you love us and that you see us. I just sometimes need to know that you see what's going on here. And I know you see all of humanity, but some of us sometimes just, Lord, we need to know you see us personally. So would you show my friend listening today that you are very aware of him or of her right in this moment. I pray all these things with faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I'm uh, grateful for you. And uh, just remember this, your life is worth living and you are worth loving. And so be loved by your Savior and also um, begin to break down some of those walls. If it, um, I, I know if, do break down those walls so that people can love you as well. You are loved. Hang in there. You are seeing. God sees you.